Today I'm going to talk about making a puppet using a technique that I think is more commonly used in special effects makeup projects. And you will find out exactly what I'm talking about in a short while. The puppet I'm making is very humanoid and when I'm doing those kinds of characters I'm actually using this homemade template to get the proportions as close to the real thing as possible. The armature is, of course, my standard aluminum wire skeleton, held together with thermoplastic. This character will have no articulated face, and actually just one functional hand, so it's a very simple armature indeed. This creature, let's call it that, is a dead man returning from drowning at sea, now reanimated by weeds and fungi that grow in the sea, so it's something zombie-like, uh, basically. I made a very simple sculpture of the head and chest in monster clay. And then I created my usual dental plaster mold over the sculpture. When the plaster had cooled and the clay was removed from the mold, I cast tinted latex into it. A couple of layers was enough to get a good looking skin. Parts of the armature were wrapped with soft polyurethane foam but most of the skeleton was actually wrapped in a different material, and here's how I go about making that. It's called Chunks of Flesh, and has been used in makeup effects for ages. It looks great, but at the same time it's also very cheap and easy to make. I simply take a plastic tray and sponge tinted latex onto it. I use a heat gun to speed up the drying. You can then add talcum powder to the latex surface to dull it down, but this time I'm not doing that because I actually want the latex to clump together. I scratch the latex with my fingernails, tearing it up, and then I just roll it off the tray, creating these organic looking blobs of nastiness in the process. To make these blobs even chunkier, I also add cabosil powder into the latex. So now I have a bunch of chunks of flesh blobs and it's time to add them to the puppet. The surface of the puppet has been covered with latex and the chunks are simply pressed onto the puppet and wrapped around it. The latex tissues will stretch and compress and they look great. Sculpting this texture in clay would have taken ages. I cover the whole puppet with a dark base color using tinted latex. And then <clears throat> the whole thing is dry brushed using light reddish latex. In the finished film, this creature will be a grayish green but that's a highly impractical color for a puppet that'll be animated against a green screen. Instead I go for a color opposite green, 
and then I'll change its color in After Effects. And that's basically it. A very simple puppet. Hopefully looking nicely detailed and gooey. Thanks for watching and see you next time.